Further on Windows 7. Windows is an operating system. Because of its features and user friendliness, it is the most popular operating system. Windows is used by most people around the world. Windows Explorer is an application of Windows 7 that enables you to access all the files on your system. Whatever information you want to save on the system must be in the form of files. A file is a collection of data or information that has a name. Every image, document, song or video is saved as a file. To open computer from the start menu, follow these steps. First, click on start button to open the start menu. Now, select computer option from the start menu to open the Windows Explorer. There are seven parts of the Explorer window. Title bar. Title bar has three buttons. Minimize, maximize and close. Address bar. This shows the address of the current folder. When you browse for your file, the location of the file will be displayed here. You can compare different address bars to understand the difference. Search bar. You can search for your files in the current folder or subfolders here. Command bar. Left part of the command bar has options depending on where you are in the explorer or what is the selected file or folder. On the right side of the bar, you have three icons which are Change view. You can change the size of icons, details displayed above them, etc. using the different types of views available in Windows 7. It is used to change the view of the folder. Preview button. When the preview button is clicked, a preview pane opens on the right side of the content area. When you select any file, you can see its content in the preview area. Help button. Clicking the help button opens the Windows 7 help and support window. You can also get help in Windows 7 by pressing F1 key. Navigation pane. It enables you to access important parts of the storage area like your favorite locations, Windows default folders, network computers, hard disk folders, etc. quickly. Content area. This is where the content of the selected folder is shown. The content of the location displayed in the address bar is displayed here. The options available in the command bar will depend on the file or folder selected in the content area. Details pane. It shows more details about the file or folder selected in content area. For example, if a folder is selected, the number of items within that folder will be displayed. If a file is selected, detail of file will be displayed. Control panel. Control panel is a collection of various tools that help us to customize and control the functioning of Windows operating system. Control panel is viewed as a standard folder. It is a command center of the Windows. To open control panel, click on the start button. Now click on the control panel option from the start menu. The control panel window will appear. By default, Control panel will open in category view. You can change the view of control panel by clicking on view by and then large icon option. Large icon view changes the view of control panel category to large icons. You can also select small icons view. In the control panel, you can set and make changes to date and time. You can also change time zone in date and time option.
To change date and time, open control panel in large icon view. Click on date and time option. Date and time dialog box will appear. Click on change date and time button. To change the date, click the left and right arrows and move to the correct month. You can also set the date by clicking left mouse button. Now to change the time, click on the up and down arrows or change the time by clicking in the box and entering the value using keyboard. After selecting your date and time, click OK. You can also change, remove or install new fonts on your system through control panel. Fonts are a set of printable or displayable text characters in a specific style and size. You can change, remove or install new fonts on your system. To do this, open control panel in large icon view. Click on fonts option. Font window will open. Now, right click on any font to perform any action such as delete for deleting a font. To install new fonts, copy the font and paste it in the font folder in control panel. Keyboard as mouse. You know how to perform different operations by using your mouse. But in case your mouse breaks or does not work and still you want to proceed with your work, you can use your keyboard as mouse. There is an alternative way to move the mouse pointer. Press left shift plus left alt and num lock key together to switch on mouse keys. Now you can move mouse pointer in numeric keypad. You can also switch off or on mouse keys using Ease of access option from control panel. Mouse settings. Mouse is an important pointing device used for selecting and opening files, folders and programs. According to your convenience, you can change the setting of your mouse like mouse pointer, double click speed, etc. To open and change mouse setting, Click on the Start button and click Control Panel in Large View icon. Here, click on Mouse option. Mouse Properties dialog box will appear. On the Buttons tab, do any of the following steps. Under Button Configuration, you can swap the functions of the right and left mouse buttons. Select the Switch Primary and Secondary Buttons checkbox. Under Double Click Speed, you can change the buttons to perform double click by moving the speed slider towards Slow or Fast. Under Click Lock, select the Turn On Click Lock checkbox. It enables you to highlight or drag items without holding down the mouse button. Now click OK to save your changes. Sleep Mode The computer can be put in sleep mode when you are taking a break. In sleep mode, your work and settings are saved in memory and on hard disk. This draws only a small amount of power and allows you to quickly wake the computer and resume your work. To put your system in sleep mode, Click the Start button. Next to Start button on the right corner, the Shutdown button appears with a small right pointing arrow. Take your mouse pointer over the arrow. Select the Sleep option from the menu. Now your system will switch to Sleep mode.